بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وآله إن شاء الله we end uh, tonight with the dua as we have uh, been used to saying that dua and the dua is today اللهم إني أسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى this is from the dua of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إني أسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى four things that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has taught us to ask in this dua first of all الهدى uh, oh Allah, I ask you for al-huda, which is guidance. We all need guidance. And guidance, as has been explained in other videos, is essentially two meanings. One is to show us the right way. And secondly, is to guide us to that way. So that's the meaning when we say, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Secondly, we are asking for a tuqa Tuqa is a shortened form of taqwa. So it is the ability to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have piety, to be conscious of Allah, to be aware of Allah, and therefore to keep away from the sins uh, by fearing the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And taqwa, uh, iman, huda, all these things are privileges and gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah to give us this taqwa. Thirdly, afaf. Uh, afaf essentially means to be uh, translated as chastity but also it means to be um, protected uh, in many ways so protected in terms of one's uh, honor and no nobility and also in terms of one's um, in terms of one's uh, needs so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you afaf uh, he's giving you that in terms of protection of yourself, but also so that you don't have to be uh, questioning others or requesting from others as well. So it is a form of sufficiency and independence in terms of your own status. Obviously, we are not independent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but independent from others. And lastly, al-ghina. And ghina uh, means to be enriched. Uh, so here we're not asking for wealth specifically or material wealth but we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us satisfied to make us pleased to make, to make us feel that we are uh, content so these are all the meanings of ghina and ghina is the ghina of the nafs when the self feels uh, satisfied and content that is ghina and that's the dua that we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahumma inni as'aluka al-huda wa tuqa والعفافة والغناء